finally get to use that new Carnage intro. So welcome to the Carnage vlog today. And we're going to talk about two books that are coming out this summer that will have Carnage in it that are spinning out of the current series that's out right now by Rom V, which we will discuss. I will be getting to that very soon. I'm going to try to team up with Eddie's mullet again, and we're going to do a discussion video on all the issues that are out now so that we're fully caught up to Carnage. Hopefully we'll get the Carnage Forever one in there, and then issues maybe 1 through 9 or 1 through 10. So we'll try to have that to you as soon as possible. So if you like things Carnage, there's going to be a lot of Carnage stuff coming up on this channel, especially with the announcements today. So make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the coverage that we do here on this channel for all things Symbiotes. And that's what this summer is. It's the Summer of Symbiotes from Marvel, and it's going to be a bunch of different series that are all symbiote related, and I think maybe an event book later on, but they haven't officially announced anything yet. So right now, uh, we have some Venomverse stuff, and I'll talk about that in the next episode. But in this episode, we're just going to talk about Carnage Reigns, which is going to be a crossover event coming up, and then also Carnage 2099, which is a character we've never gotten before. Uh, we've had Carnage in other iterations, like the MC2 universe with uh, Spider-Girl and stuff, but we haven't seen like the future of Carnage in this kind of way before, and, so, and especially set in the 2099 universe. So I'm interested to see because Venom 2099 was pretty neat. It was it was kind of fun to talk about, uh, and uh, and that character was uh, on Kron. Uh, Stone was was cool ish, you know. For me, I have some criticisms, but I love Spidey 2099 anyway. So anything set in that world that deals with Miguel. I'm going to be on board for at least to check it out. So we have a Carnage series that is coming up, like I said, uh, Spider-Man 2099 Dark Genesis. And this will be a five-issue series. And I'm going to put a link down below to the website that I'm using, which is comicbook.com. And it's been a while since I've done one of these where I'm like linking other sources and stuff. Feels good. We're getting back in the swing of things and pretty soon we'll have movie news and I'll be sharing links to those articles uh, from the trades and stuff. So this is fun. It's nice to get back into this. But we have a miniseries coming out this summer for Dark Genesis and it's uh, taken, basically says Spider-Man 29 Exodus brought back 2099 figures like the X-Men as well as, uh, you know, Loki and, and introduced those versions and Winter Soldier and stuff. So this time around, they're going to be doing Dark Genesis, which will bring back characters like Punisher 2099 and Daredevil but also brand new 2099 characters like Blade. Uh, and then the society begins to crumble as Spider-Man 2099 will need all the help he can get, but does the public even want to help him? And uh, that's pretty much where they're going to have Spidey at this point in the storyline, and they're going to introduce Carnage at this point uh, in the story. So really neat. It's, like I said, five-issue miniseries uh, coming out written by Steve Orlando. That's the only thing I'm kind of critical on. Steve Orlando has tried to be the writer to bring back the 2099 universe, and I feel like he's very hit or miss with it. So uh, I'll give it a shot, you know, because it's Carnage, and we talk about symbiotes on this channel. So that's the main reason I'm giving it a shot. But I'll be honest, I'm a little interested, you know, to see what Carnage's future holds in the Marvel Universe. Uh, and then the art is going to be by Justin Mason and with uh, covers by Nick Bradshaw. So this will start coming out in May, and that's officially when the Summer of Symbiotes is going to start. And it's going to start with uh, one of this series, I guess, uh, but then also one of the Venomverse series that we'll talk about in the next episode. So yeah, so I hopefully the artwork's up there. You can see kind of the cover there for the first issue and the second issue. I think I have a couple of the issues, uh, but it looks like there's other spider characters there. You can see Blade there. I wonder if it's the same Blade. That would be awesome because I know they introduced a daughter for Blade in recent continuity, but I would love for Blade 2099 to still be Eric. That would be awesome. I mean, he's, you know, he lives a long time. Uh, it's kind of like when they did X-Men 2099. I'm like, how is Wolverine still not here? Uh, so yeah, but we got all the covers, so I'm posting them up there. So you can see them all. And some of them are homage covers to uh, previous Spider-Man books and, and the crossover events like Maximum Carnage and stuff and, and other like uh, one shots with uh, characters you know, or, or symbiote stories that had Carnage in it. So they're cool. I like the covers. They look really good. So that'll be coming out first uh, this summer and, uh, and that'll lead us into the next time we see Carnage, which will be Carnage Reigns. And, but that is going to be set during the present day. So uh, And before we move on to this, let me know what you think of Spider-Man 2099 fighting Carnage 2099. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. We'll keep talking down there. And if there's more details that come out, we'll try to cover them down in the comments. And then I'll do update videos as we get, you know, the issues come out and we start reviewing them and stuff. So, uh, so yeah, so one of the other summer events is going to be the Carnage Reigns. Uh, and that will be a crossover that will take place in the Miles Morales Spider-Man book, uh, the Red Goblin book, and the Carnage book. Uh, so those three titles will all be affected by this crossover. Now, I hope this crossover is a lot better than Dark Web, because <laughs> Dark Web is garbage. In fact, you haven't seen me post any videos on it, because I sat down, I read it, I took some notes, I recorded like a version, and it just turned into like this 
one hour complain fest <laughs> and I was only supposed to talk about like the first three issues and I ended up talking about like the whole run and so I'm gonna reshoot some of that and uh, and maybe I'll use some of that footage of me just complaining and, and splice it in, I don't know, we'll see. I'll see how the video comes out, but I try to keep some things succinct, especially when I complain. I'm like, eh, I don't like hearing myself complain when I have to edit them, so I imagine a lot of you don't like hearing me complain. So I try to, if I can't be really critical and, and have good points of why I'm complaining, uh, and I just rant, I try to edit that down if I can. So uh, so you might see some watered down reviews of Dark Web soon, just because I want them off my computer. Um, but Carnage Reigns, though, this crossover, I'm, I'm really have my fingers crossed here. Alex uh, pa Pacnadal, uh, I, uh, hopefully I'm saying your last name right, um, and Cody Ziegler are going to be some of the writers on this. It's going to start with a, an alpha issue, then it's going to cross over the main titles, and then it's going to go into an, an Omega issue. And this will feature the new Red Goblin, which uh, I have read issue one of Red Goblin, and I'll probably, I'll probably do a review of that soon uh, just to get it out there. And then when the trade comes out, I'll discuss like issues two through five or whatever else is included in the trade. Um, but but I'll have an issue one review coming up very soon for you guys. Uh, so Red Goblin being Normie Osborn with his new uh, symbiote Rascal, uh, they're going to be, um, you know, their book is going to be a big part of this. And same with Miles' book. So I'm interested for that reason. Uh, you know, the stuff they're doing with Normie is kind of interesting to me. And I like Miles. Uh, and I've been liking the book over the past couple of years. I haven't loved it, but I've liked it enough to where I've, kept up with it and so um so i'm curious to see that all happen and come together along with carnage uh who has the extreme biote symbiote uh suit that tony stark made during king and black where he infused uh one of the symbiotes with an extremis thing and apparently carnage was like attached to it at one point or you know connected to it and uh, and and lives inside uh, of this symbiote now this extreme biote and I has he also has a new host in the main book, so I don't want to spoil some of that either. Right here, I will say go read the new book, and we'll talk about Carnage very soon in an upcoming video. But we're going to get the return of the Extreme Beat armor that Tony made, so Iron Man will also play a part in this story. And so some of the covers have been released, so I'll post them up right there so you can check them out. Really cool looking covers. Um, I really like the one with uh, Super Carnage or whatever he is uh, fighting Miles, but I, I, the one where he has the blade to Miles' throat is really uh, just gives me goosebumps. It's a cool drawing. It looks very scary. Um, and then you have the big battle one with uh, you know everyone fighting on the cover with Iron Man there. So I'm curious to see, like I said, Alex is gonna be writing this along with Cody. And then some of the artists will be Julius Atta. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, Federico Vincentini, who I believe was some of the Moon Knight stuff recently that I love. Um, I believe, maybe I might be mistaken on Federico's art, uh, where, where they've I've seen their art before. But I know I've seen it in a recent book and I've loved it. Um, and then Francesco Mana, who I have not uh, seen any of their artwork. But those are going to be the main artists, at least for some of this uh, story. And there will be other ones that will probably pop up, including covers by Venom artist Ryan Stegman. Uh, you know, and I love Ryan from years and years back. I really liked his Kane, you know, Scarlet Spider series he did. But even before that, the guy's always been a superstar. So him coming in and doing some covers for this is going to be awesome. So that's just my thoughts on this. I'm excited for both of these things for different reasons. Um, you know, Steve Orlando doesn't immediately excite me that he's writing another 2099 book. But I am excited to see what their take on Carnage will be and where he's been all these years and how he ended up in the 2099 universe. So I am, you know, interested in that. And Carnage Reigns, though, I feel like there's some good younger talent that haven't, you know, really proven themselves on a ton of stuff yet. Cody maybe a little bit more, but some of these names are new to me at least. Um, so if you're familiar with them and you like something they've written, let me know down below so I can check their books out. Uh, but these are a lot of new names to me. So I, and it's Miles being the central point along with Red Goblin against Carnage. And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of interested. I still don't understand why Spider-Man's not in the event. Uh, you know, so, like Carnage attacking New York and stuff would definitely get the attention of both Venom and Spider-Man. Um, so, but that's what I mean about too many of these spider characters. There's so many in one city now that you can't even do a story like this without asking questions like, where is Spider-Man and where is Venom? You know, uh, But that's always been the case in Marvel Universe because most of their heroes take place in New York. So I can forgive it if it's a well-written story. Um, and, and that's what I'm hoping this is. But, you know, hopefully none of the editors from Dark Reign and, and no one who worked on that book works on this because, uh, or Dark Web, sorry, because Dark Web was just absolute garbage. Probably one of the, if not the worst Spider-Man X-Men crossover ever. 
and definitely one of the the worst Spider-Man Venom crossovers ever. Just terrible. Um, and uh, and I'll break down that uh, why I feel that way in future videos. And then I'll also have a discussion video where I'll have a guest on, and we're gonna just pick apart Dark Web completely um, after I post my other videos. Oh, and one more thing about Carnage. Uh, he's actually gonna be showing up, or a different version of Carnage from the multiverse is gonna be showing up very soon in a Demon Wars sequel. Uh, another Demon Wars by Peach Momoko story is coming out called Down in Flames. And there was a Carnage Oni that kind of got introduced in the uh, the previous run, which was uh, called the Iron Samurai, I believe. It was called Demon Wars Iron Samurai. And in that, they kind of did their own version of what Civil War was, but they had a version of Carnage involved in it, which was really cool. And we're going to definitely talk about that coming up, you know, because I know that was a book I missed. Because uh, I did the, recently with Venomverse, though, I did the one with uh, Venom, you know, in, in the Peach Momoko universe. And then now we have Carnage I was going to get to, but I'll wait till this issue comes out and we'll do like a dual review of both of them. Uh, and we'll just talk about it all in one video. But yes, I do want to mention real quick before this video ended that Down in Flames is coming out and it will be an alternate universe version of Carnage, but a really, really cool one. I liked what Peach did in that universe with the symbiotes. And even though they're not really symbiotes, uh, they're kind of like spirit creatures and stuff, which is kind of neat, uh, but I liked it a lot. And so, uh, yeah, I just wanted to mention that before I ended this video. Thank you very much for watching the show. Uh, those are my thoughts on these two books. Let me know what your thoughts are down below. And the next episode, we're going to come back and talk about the Venomverse and, uh, and you know, the two new series that are coming out about, you know, Extreme Venomverse and Death of the Venomverse, which also had Carnage on the cover. So we'll get into that, you know, in the next episode. But thanks so much for watching. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.